every time I drive through this part of uh, Montana, I, I see a lot of cars and stuff over on this side of the interstate, but I could never figure out how to get over there. Um, I think we found the off the overpass that uh, gets us over to this side of the, the freeway, and uh, we'll do a little looking around and see what we can come up with. closer and noticed the headlights, I could tell that it was definitely German. We went up to the house where the bus was parked and got a hold of the owner and he agreed to let us go out and take a close look at it. And to be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these. It turned out to be a 1957 DKW 3 equals 6. And while my German's not so good, it was typically called the Snellaster Kostenwagen. These vehicles first went into production in 1949 and actually had a two-cylinder, 25 horsepower, two-stroke engine. And while this looks like a copy of the popular Volkswagen Microbus or Transporter, the DKW actually went into production prior to the VW. Later models like this 1957 3 equals 6 were actually equipped with a three-cylinder, two-stroke engine that produced 36 horsepower. The name 3 equals 6 actually comes because the company believed that their three-cylinder two-stroke engine produced the same amount of power equivalent to a traditional six-cylinder engine. The name it was given, Snellaster Kostenwagen, actually translates to rapid transport. If you look closely under the white paint on this bus, you can see that it was actually originally a Kirby Vacuum Company vehicle out of Missoula, Montana. Another interesting feature of this little microbus is the front wheel drive transaxle that it has that was very untypical for the time. The DKW had several different platforms that it used. The cargo van like the one we're looking at here, also a passenger version, and a single cab pickup truck. In addition to these factory models, there were also a few companies experimenting with camper conversions. One company in the United States, Flint Ridge, uh, built a camper, and believe it or not, uh, Westfalia also had a camper conversion that was based on the DKW platform. Any information you guys have about these little DKWs would be greatly appreciated. Please comment below and as always we appreciate you watching. Thank you. <laughs>